What's up, fellas? No, I'm playing. That's my best AMS impression. But today's video, guys, we're going to be talking about one of the funniest articles I came across regarding AMS. And I love his content, by the way. AMS is one of the guys that I looked up to when I first came to this red pill awareness and this red pill knowledge. He's more of a red pill dating coach, though, I would say, or a dating instructor from the red pill perspective. But regardless, he has some great content. Go check out his channel if you haven't already. However, I came across the most ridiculous, hilarious article, especially when you have a red pill knowledge and a red pill lens and you're viewing it regarding AMS and these women that have come out and basically said, don't fall for his tricks. This guy's a player. He's done this to thousands of women and what you should look out for when dealing with a guy or a player that has red pill knowledge and awareness. Yes, they actually made an article about AMS, but honestly, it doesn't add up. And I'm going to point out all the different flaws and the different things that these females forgot to include when creating this article. And in fact, instead of exposing AMS, they actually just showed their true nature and they ended up showing that they either ended up messing around with him or they were comfortable at least going back to his place. And once we know a female chooses to go back to a man's place, it's basically like she's saying that she's willing to be with this guy intimately. That's basically what it means, that she's comfortable enough to be intimate with this guy. So we're going to check out this article. I hope you guys will enjoy it just as much as I enjoyed reading it and we can have a good laugh together because these women's claims and statements are absolutely ridiculous and I just find it hilarious that they're grasping at straws in this article through how to handle a player, quote unquote, even though they ended up basically going back to this guy's house and they're just trying to hold on to their virtue in the end. Alright guys, so this is the article right here. It's by Black City Girl. I've never heard of them. This is the title of the article right here and it was published October 18th, 2018. I happened to dig it up. I thought it was funny, but this is his profile right here. Um, that one that he uses successfully, but that's we're not here for that. What we're here for is what uh, what they had to say during the article about AMS. So it says three women from the New York area have come forward with receipts receipts after viewing our Insta story this week. So I guess they must have like they try to expose our red pill content creators and dating coaches or whatever. And they try to come out and expose us. Feliciano, also known as AMS, tried and failed to trick them into bed. Thankfully, they had a narrow escape. Sadly, thousands of other women fall victim to his game and some are recorded during and after sex. Beware ladies, as evil as his tactics are, they work. Please don't be his next victim. Let's talk about his strategy in depth so you know what to look for. They made a whole article on this guys. And compare his advances versus the advances of your future husband. But this is called, I thought, Black City Girl. These women aren't looking for a future husband. They've already given it up. Okay, well, that's besides the point. Feliciano has profiles posted on POF and several other reputable dating websites and in his own words claims to be the perfect man for you. Why would he claim less than that? Based on the number of women coming forward, he is fairly indiscriminate and dating is a numbers game for him. Yeah, an abundance mindset. He is consistent in searching for... We suspect he makes time every day to inbox the same messages to hundreds. His preference is black women. He is patient, arranging meetings back to back to increase his chances of catching women off guard. He makes his intentions clear within three dates and disappears soon after. He deliberately chooses down market venues to entice women back to his place. And I agree with this. You shouldn't be spent. You should be spending little to no money on a first date, especially if you're just trying to and if these women still fall for that, well, that's on them. He arrives at each date approximately 15 to 20 minutes late. The mixed signals don't stop there. He enjoys crossing personal boundaries with his hands and will grope you if you blah, blah, blah. I don't want to get demonetized. Every move he makes is premeditated to bring down a woman's defenses. Plus, he uses weird pet names like Daddy. <laughs> he avoids answering probing questions. Instead, he works to arouse his conquest until she gives in. That's not giving in. She's clearly choosing. AMS is like 6'5", in good shape. He has his career together. He has his life together. He makes good money. These women aren't just being taken advantage of by AMS. And also in regards to that, the whole strategy of dating is to get from point A to point B, which is in the bedroom. So what he's trying to do is just limit that time between what it takes from her at the bar, the little venue, to get back to his place. 
and he's asking you all the questions because he's trying to reveal as little to about himself to you as possible because we know if you open up to women how many times does that work where you're successful when you open up to a woman nowadays it never happens one of his tactics is to arrange last minute dates only to ghost as soon as she gives him the cookie in order to quote tear down her self-esteem and quote as he says in one of his videos they've been watching his videos as well all right so this is what i really thought was hilarious right here we see uh date number one we're gonna read all the different dates and i think these are so funny we met in harlem i'm from new jersey but always in new york so meeting there wasn't a problem at some jamaican restaurant he wasn't 15 to 20 minutes late, like he said in that video, but I did only wait like five minutes, but I always purposely show up late for the guys I meet online in case I want to dip out on them. So she's doing the same thing. Anyways, this guy is tall, looks better in pics slash videos, but I digress. We get in the spot and he says he's not ordering food because he's not hungry. Also, I'm going to reverse and rewind a little bit. She said that he doesn't look as good as his pictures and videos, but you women wear makeup and you post the most filtered photos on top of wearing makeup. So how real does that make you? We get to the spot and he says he's not ordering food because he's not hungry. I found that to be weird because he picked the place. So why wouldn't you be ready to eat? Because he's trying to spend as little money as possible on you, obviously. Anyways, I didn't eat because one, I had a big lunch and I was full. Two. He picked a place where I couldn't eat because I don't eat meat and this place had no vegan options. You don't eat meat, AMS is thinking otherwise. Anyways, he had a drink and I had a soda. I was in shock. I froze. Then he persisted on blank. He tried taking my blank off, telling me to blank over, but I was out. He was visibly upset, but I didn't give a damn. I should have reported him. Anyway, needs to say he's definitely a predator. But what you won't realize and what she won't tell you in this article is the fact that she said she was froze and he kept trying to take her panties off. But how did she get in that predicament? How did she get in that situation? She clearly ended up at his place, right? So even though he visibly had signs, even though she says she doesn't like certain things he did, she ended up still going back to this man's place. And this is what a lot of women do. They'll tell you they don't like certain things. And then you do the opposite of what they tell you that they like and you're successful. But then later on, they feel ashamed that they came over to your place and whatever happened, happened. And then they try to make excuses for that activity that went on in that place. Nothing about him is smooth. I was 100% stupid in going to his place. Well, he still did, like I said. I think these girls have blank with him because he definitely has money, a beautiful apartment and a nice Mercedes. So that's her right there basically telling you this is what other girls do instead of taking responsibility for herself because she understands that that was what got her to go to his place. Let's read these again. He definitely has money, a beautiful apartment and a nice Mercedes. So she saw all three of those things when she met this guy and she decided to go back to AMS's place. He was so corny and he's like 39 doing this type of stuff. You still went back to his place. The only reason I went out with him a second time was because we had a good conversation the first time and unlike the majority of dates I had gone on, he didn't try to feel me. Something else planned, he didn't. Again, we go back to his place and we were just watching TV. So you went back to his place for a second date even though you didn't like him on the first date. You guys are delusional as hell. Then he said, quote, come sit next to daddy, end quote. Mind you, I'm already sitting next to him at a normal distance. Then when I said I'm good, he asked me to sit on his lap. I declined. Then he offers me wine. I told him he would never get me drunk so I could have blank with him. And if I were to drink, I'd just fall asleep and he'd be mad either way cap that's cap she's lying he acted like i was making assumptions and then he was back to quote regular end quote or should i say representative he drank and we watched tv next thing i know this person because i refuse to call him a man leans over and out of nowhere licks my and sits back up as if nothing happened well was your out was it out was it like were you like, what were you wearing in order to be in that situation that he can just lean over and lick, you know? How is that possible that he just leaned over and suddenly it ended up that that happened? How can that be possible unless you were basically naked? 
Ladies, never, ever, ever go to a stranger's house, regardless of the reason. I could have sat my wet behind in my car and waited out that storm, but she didn't. And looking back, I remembered his old... I remembered his doorman looked at me. He must have been thinking, damn, another one. This is exactly what he was thinking. <laughs> he's talking about game in the video. He has no game. How does he have no game if he's done this to you and you went over to his house a second time and he's and his doorman recognized that this is another one? Another one bites the dust. Another one comes through and gets slayed. Oh! I honestly don't know what made those women sleep with him at all, let alone that fast. I'm good, I came home slave. He has it in him for sure. I don't think he has it in him. He's 6'5", he's in good shape, he makes money, you notice his car, he's not gonna be trying to do any of that stuff to you, or else he would have. Also, I want to say, because I read the comments on the other girl's thread, a lot of us women say we're dating with a purpose and blah, blah, blah. All right, so then this is the rest of the article. I'll link the article in the comment section if you guys wanna check it out, but it's absolutely ridiculous. Um, these women are basically trying to excuse the fact that they decided to willingly go over to this man's house and they most likely gave it up, but they just are trying to front and act like they didn't give it up and they're ashamed now looking back. So what are they going to do? They're going to be blog post warriors and write about their adventures and their mistreatment all on their website and their blog posts to warn other females of AMS when in fact, he didn't force you to come to his place, you willingly chose to. Especially if you didn't drink, you willingly chose to. And even if you did drink, you're more honest when you drink anyways. So that's my take on the whole situation that's going on in this article. And I just feel like it's ridiculous and it's funny. I just wanted to share it with you guys and let me know what you guys think of this conversation as well on this topic. And let me know your thoughts because I think it's ridiculous. Like literally, this is the most ridiculous article I've ever read. If you want to read the whole article, definitely check out the comment section below. We all know AMS isn't the type of guy to just be doing these types of things. He gets women, like she said in the article, thousands of women. So this woman to come out and frame him in a bad light shows that she's insecure and she regrets having with this man. She has post hookup depression. All right, so that's what you guys have to understand. She is regretting something that she did and trying to warn other people. She's trying to warn other women and say she's a strong and independent woman that she would never fall for his trickery, but she clearly did in this article. So let me know your thoughts. Drop a like on the video, share the video. Hopefully AMS can see this. Have a good one.